Hey, friends, Rob here doing a response or review. I see this mother, Jennifer Johnson, flashcard story. She gets sick with some type of heart situation, and she wants to leave memories to her children. And first of all, my condolences to her husband, her children, her family, her friends, and just a sad, sad story. And, you know, friends, it just goes to show you how fragile life can and is. The reality is, is you know, we're all going to take our last breath one day, and certainly I don't mean to be insensitive to that young lady that just passed on, but as a minister of the gospel, I'm concerned about eternity because, you know, we can live to be 8 or 108, but compared to eternity, is eternity a billion years? Is it a billion? Friends, eternity is without end. It's without measure, and when we all take our last breath, the elevator either goes up to life insurance or it goes down to the basement where there's fire insurance. Now, desire to subscribe to my ministry channel. I am a minister of the gospel. You can hit the subscribe button if you desire. And, you know, the only way we can have the assurance and insurance that when we all take our last breath that we're going to make heaven our home is by having our lives surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And, you know, God comes by invitation only. He'll never knock or blow the door down to your heart. You know, God didn't create robots. God gave us a free will. So we can accept him due to obedience. We can reject him due to disobedience. But know this, we control the doorknob to our heart. And once you open the door of your heart just to crack, the Lord will come in with his great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness, most of all his irrevocable, unconditional love. You know, the Bible says in the New Testament, in the book of John, the third chapter, 16th verse, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would receive and believe and submit your life to Jesus, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting and eternal life. And God desires no one to perish, he wants all to have the insurance that when we all take our last breath, once, once again we will and we can make heaven a home. Desire to recite a simple prayer to me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that prayer, God bless you. Again, my condolences, that mother. What a sad, sad story, leaving two little toddlers behind. My God, friends, my, my heart just goes out to that family as they grieve and they mourn. My prayers are with and for them. Uh, the, the husband just broke and the kids... Friends, the Lord loves you. God's got a mighty plan for your life. Don't ever forget it. Confess Christ. You'll never be disappointed. Under this search, Rob would want to have many of the ministry videos where I expound, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Again, if you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed today.